Hello, good day. My name is Abiyad Alawal. The purpose of this video is to show you how each module of the smart irrigation system works and how the system itself works as a whole. Uh, the template for this project is Isaac Maloney, and my other colleagues are Charlene Wolfel and Carissa Serrano. Please enjoy. Thank you. The following video will be showing the solar panel module, which is a set of three monocrystalline photovoltaic cells. Since our system only irrigates at night, at its peak voltage of 12 volt, the system senses daytime and will not actuate the valve for irrigation. However, when we cover the panels with a towel, the charge controller will show a reading of 0 volt from the solar panel, thus detecting the absence of light. When the moisture sensor reads that the soil is dry, the valve will actuate for irrigation. Uh, SDI power and solar panel test. Starting with the system on, you can see that our PV voltage is 12.8 volts. If we scroll over, our battery voltage is 12.7 volts. Now, if we cover the solar panels to simulate darkness, our battery voltage is still at 12.7 volts, but our PV voltage is now at zero volts, indicating that the solar panel works properly. Thank you. Next, we'll talk about the valve and sensor modules. These two modules work together. The valve module opens if the sensor reading is showing that the soil is dry and closes if the sensor reading shows that the soil is sufficiently moist or wet. And here is a short video showing this in action. All right, this is a test, a uh, full test of our SDI system. The soil sensor is in open air simulating that the soil is in a dry state and the valve starting off in the closed position. We turn our system on. The valve begins to open. The red, white, and yellow LEDs are on. Yellow LED stays on to indicate that the valve is now in the open position. And now we're going to put our soil sensor into the pool to simulate uh, an oversaturated soil level. The valve now closes, as you can see, and no LEDs are on. Our valve open LED is now off, showing that the valve is closed. Thank you. The next videos show the finalized reference system operating in a live garden bed, similar to the garden beds in which our three pilot systems will be installed in Nicaragua. Our reference system will be kept in Houston to serve as a tool for long-term testing and to be passed down to future senior design teams. The powered reference system is secured to a stake and the bell valve is connected to quarter inch hosing. The garden bed shown here has already been sufficiently watered, so the valve remains closed. To demonstrate the system irrigating the garden, the moisture sensor is removed from the soil to replicate a dry condition. Immediately, the system releases water. When the microcontroller receives a wet reading from the sensor, the valve closes and the water stops. This is demonstrated by placing the sensor back in the wet soil. Thank you for watching the video. If you have questions relative to this project, please email the team lead, Isaac Maloney. Thank you once again.